Okay, welcome back to the Any Voices podcast. I'm your host, the real voice, Mel Allen. And in today's episode, I thought maybe I'd tell you a little bit about me. So uh, no real links or resource today, except the default link that uh, I'll put into uh, my website, therealvoice.com. So how did I get started in voiceovers? Well, it all kind of started in 1987 when I was a kid and I was having a discussion about music with some friends of mine at a summer program that happened to be at Johnson State College, now known as Northwestern University. And, well, uh, one of our counselors overheard us talking and said, hey, you guys want to be on the radio? Because it happened that he was the general manager for the uh, radio station on the college campus. So he taught us what we needed to do. We ended up being on the radio oh, about a week or two later, and everybody froze when it came time for us to talk. And I just remember the golden rule that he told us was no dead air. So after about three seconds uh, or what felt like an eternity, I jumped up, talked into the microphone and don't even remember what I said and played the uh, next uh, record because actually they were still on records there at that radio station. So how did that lead to me being in voiceovers? Well, after a couple of weeks more of being on the radio, it ended up being me and uh, one friend of mine, I think Uh, another friend came in every once in a while, but Manly was my friend and I, and I got a little more comfortable behind the microphone. And the general manager asked me if I could actually record uh, all of the underwriting, all of the sponsorships and uh, the PSAs and the station identification, because he said people have a really hard time playing it. So if you just record all of them, he's like, all they've got to do is hit a button and these will play. And I said, sure, I'm happy to do it. Uh, it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. I didn't get paid for it, but they taught me how to use all the equipment. And that basically started me down the line of uh, learning how to do production and learning how to do voiceover. So over the next year or so, I actually reached out to some friends of mine from out of state. And I said, hey, send me some tapes of um, the radio station. Just record one of the biggest radio stations in your area and send me the tapes. And so I sent them money for postage and tapes and they sent me tapes. I listened to those and skipped all the music at first. I ended up going back later and enjoying it. But uh, what I was looking for were the commercials, how they were read. And so I typed out the scripts and um, I used to try to emulate the voices that I thought did a really good job of doing their voiceover. And so that was how I basically started. And in 1994, I got hired in an uh, actual radio station, a uh, radio station called 95 X, and they are still in the Burlington, Vermont area where I'm from. Um, so I learned how to do real production there on much better quality equipment, although at the time a lot of it was analog, but I was there while everything went digital. So that was 1994. By 1996, I actually had my first paid client, not a radio station, not an employer uh, who was paying me, who was getting basically free voiceovers from me. So 1996, a a prior coworker that I'd worked with in radio said, Hey, we've got this person. We'll pay you 20 bucks. So I ended up doing a lot more voiceovers for them, ended up making a lot more than $20. And over the years, I have been a production director. I've been a producer of radio programs and uh, production director for several several radio stations also wrote and produced commercials for television um, and uh, in addition to that I kind of supported my career in radio and voiceover because it you know back then I didn't make a lot of money I think I paid, maybe was making 75 to 100 dollars for some of my top billing gigs and in 2006 I really kind of went out on my own I registered the domain therealvoice.com I actually had two other people who were with me who we also co-wrote, co-produced, and uh, did voiceovers for things. So the real voice was a, a, a three-person crew, two other women who were there with me who were working on it. And uh, we had clients. We were doing imaging production. We were doing radio production. We were writing scripts that were making it onto TV. And um, then I ended up actually working for a facility that... Um, makes demos and teaches people how to do voiceover. So I was a coach, I was a salesperson, I was a manager for the demo production department, kind of brought them into um, kind of more modern ways of of doing demos. Uh, They kind of were doing things that sounded dated. And 
That was a great experience, and I worked with a lot of clients, taught them how to uh, read scripts, basically how to look at scripts in many different ways, and to really be able to deliver things. Um, and those were skills that I actually learned working with uh, clients in radio. Uh, people would come in, we'd have a half an hour to maybe 45 minutes to record uh, because that would give me enough time so that I could actually quickly edit together their commercial, give them a quick listen to how it was going to sound and, you know, have any problems, we could re-record a portion of it. So I learned very quickly how to get a decent recording out of people. And so working with people who actually had interest in, in you know, voiceover, voice acting, uh, putting a script, uh, putting some copy in front of them and giving them some tips on how to do it uh, and also doing uh, webinars. So I used to do a lot of webinars about every uh, every month to two months. I was part of a rotating cast of people doing webinars, teaching people how to do this. And while I didn't feel really fulfilled by that, uh, I have done some coaching after that. Uh, but what I really love doing is just kind of getting people uh, fired up about this. I'm passionate about it. I love doing voiceover. Uh, I've been working with some of the same clients for dozens of years. I've got people, uh, you know, who still refer and recommend me to uh, people. And, and I just love that I've built this whole kind of relationship network with a group of people. And that uh, now that everything has gone digital, I also have a lot of people who are uh, other voiceover talent that I've connected with in this. And uh, to me, it's just really something that uh, I love. I want to grow and want to help other people because along all of that way, um, I've learned a, a lot about how to record yourself, uh, about equipment, about, um, you know, audio editing. And, uh, you know, I've done different characters. So I've done uh, characters that I did for uh, some radio and, and commercial spots. I've done characters for children's books that I've read. Uh, so uh, I've done acting uh, both behind the camera, uh, both in front of the camera. You know, I've been directing and, and producing behind the camera. I've been on the other side of the camera where I was a character. I've also done voiceover acting. So a lot of different varied uh, background that I've got over many years and I've enjoyed it all. I really uh, absolutely love creating. I love helping other people to be passionate about creating and I want to help you create and you know, whether you're starting kind of like I was where I was recording in my closet and my first, you know, quote unquote booth was literally boxes around my microphone that were stuffed with pillows <laughs> on top of a desk. I still have that desk, by the way. Uh, my grandfather gave it to me. So um, whenever I look at that, you know, I think about how I had boxes stuffed with pillows stacked all over that. And that was how I first recorded holding up a quilt over my head. Um, with just enough light so that I could see my copy. But it's definitely something that uh, I want to help other people do. I want to help other people do better. And I want your questions. So if you head over to anyvoices.com, you can uh, comment. Uh, also, if you want to find us on social media, uh, any underscore voices on Twitter, uh, anyvoices.ig on Instagram, anyvoices.fb on Facebook. And of course, again, our, our website, anyvoices.com. And I say our because I don't feel like it's mine. I feel like this is a community that I want to talk to, that I want to help uh, amplify other people's voices. I don't want it to just be mine. I want to have interviews with other people. If you have a suggestion for an interview, drop me a line and let me know who you think that we should talk about. Somebody who's got a novel approach, a novel way of solving a problem that you've had that you know other people have had uh, and if you have a burning question let me know that too and I would be happy to answer that thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully this will be on Apple podcast very soon so it will trickle out to other places or you can listen to it on anchor you can listen to it on Spotify pocket casts also has it as of this recording and uh, soon I expect it to be in more places oh I'm putting it on YouTube as well the YouTube link right now is long because I don't have many subscribers, but uh, the link to that is at anyvoices.com as well. So you might be wondering, how is it that I'm able to record a podcast and give you this information about the voice, you know, overacting talent community? Well, I went to Anchor and I started making my podcast there. It's free. And the great thing is that they have creation tools, allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone, your computer, 
and uh, they can even distribute the podcast for you. So that way people can hear it on places like Spotify, Apple Podcast, and of course, all of the others. And you can even make money from your podcast. There's no minimum listenership. So what do you got to do to make your podcast? In one place, download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. That's anchor.fm to get started. Thanks for letting me share a little bit about myself. And uh, again, I don't want this to be all about me. I definitely have a lot of experience uh, over the years that uh, I expect that I will be sharing more of. But again, uh, I want to be here to amplify your voices and uh, to make sure that we're getting your novel approaches, um, new challenges, new solutions out into the world. So thanks very much for tuning in. And um, if you do find this on your favorite podcasting platform, uh, give us a review. Leave us, you know, those uh, five stars. If you're not ready to give us five stars, well, contact me and help me understand why and how we can earn that review from you. Again, uh, anyvoices.com is uh, our website. So that's the main hub where you can find any links to everything. And thanks for listening to Any Voices podcast. And I'm not going to end this. I guess I'll say let's do one more take. So until next time, this is Mel Allen for the Any Voices podcast. Thank you.